Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is Montreal and today we're going to discuss new lesson for your additional insights. Alright, so this is about the language learning materials development. Alright, and well to begin with, communication is a survival resource. So in this era of massive advancement, in information, science, technology, you need to be equipped. Actually, we all need to be equipped with a wide array of scaffolds that can help facilitate active engagement with different kinds of environment, of course, in order for us to survive in this globally competitive world. In this school setting, this can be achieved when uh, communicative teaching learning strategies or the activities or instructional materials are well planned and are framed towards linguistic and communicative competence of learners. And according to Noonan 1992, he states that teaching materials are often the most substantial and observable component of pedagogy as well. This premise leads to the idea that in language learning activities, of course, oftentimes teachers consider learning materials as fundamental elements towards the attainment of the expected competences as they support meaningful teaching and learning. And according to Edge, from the year 1993, materials exist in order to support the learning and teaching processes. And so they call it, be, de be designed to suit the people and the process involved. All right. And uh, seeing this, as a, a valuable yet an opportune challenge, this curse as too prompt. This ushers you to essentials of language, learning materials, development, as this will equip you in the preparation of meaningful language, teaching, and learning. So during the process, you are guided as you become a professional teachers in the future. And so let's all start and uh, we are already we're already done with the first topic last time and today we're going to discuss about the development of instructional materials. So actually what is instructional materials? Of course, instructional materials in education, we use it as a tool, a guide, okay, a references, a resources, okay, which serve as aid, okay, serve as an aid and part the teaching learning process. And we, um, the source of this uh, book that I am using is entitled Language Learning and Materials Development. Okay, so this is an OPE based, created just uh, this 2021, authored by Ethel de Leon Abel, Rivika C. Alda, and uh, Remedia C. Bacchus. Okay, so let's begin. First, we see learning outcomes. The first one, as we go along to this, you are going to deepen understanding on the essence of instructional materials towards a successful instructional delivery. Second, develop instructional materials which are appropriate, relevant, and appealing. And the third one, evaluate instructional based on the criteria Z and for the last one, it demonstrates the uh, ability to adopt purposeful instruction, instructional materials. 
So uh, materials development is basically dealing with selection, adoption, and of course, creation of teaching materials. So it's still that was stated by Nuna 1991. Well, talking with the authenticity and purposiveness of instructional materials for language learning, they are all essentials. All right, they are all essential elements before they can be meaningfully utilized in class. They are essential elements and potent guides in designing and, of course, developing these materials. Hence, teachers experiences in language teaching as well as their understanding of their students knowledge skills behavior or other key factors towards motivating the students to learn the target language of course the learning aid or learning materials are very important okay in assessing and helping our students to learn especially the the uh, se uh, second language or the target language. And uh, aside from that, the importance of materials as content act as a stimulus for communicative interaction and materials as language serves the purpose of information about the target language and carefully selected examples of use. Teacher produced materials also play an important role in bridging gap between the classroom and the world outside. So that was according to Pardon Tellis 2009, which is very true, especially nowadays in our present era under pandemic. We are still adapting, okay? Adapting and embracing the challenges and changes happening in our educational system. And of course, adopting the different sources, okay, um, creating our own materials, developing our own instructional materials would be a great help, okay, in lifting up the uh, uh, quality of education, okay, the quality of teaching that we are going to um, give or pour to our students or learners. Language learning and teaching have been further transformed by the rapid development of a wide range of technology mediated resources, okay, materials, tasks, and learning environments, as according to Reinders and White 2010. And uh, integrating uh, Text with the local culture will lessen the unfamiliarity and help students to read better. And that, uh, as stated by Regni, okay, he cited that in Nambiar, okay, um, together with other authors on the year 2020, okay, just presently. Okay, so that is. And the uh, the, the development of instructional materials is a challenge among the teachers. That is very true. In a simple way or simple, simple uh, simply creating, okay, instructional materials, the module, okay, the answer sheets, okay, those corresponds to the efforts, all right, big efforts and big sacrifices as well, especially to the teachers and to other writers, okay, to other authors. All right, it's our rigorous preparation should be taken for granted. It has to be well thought of and carefully aligned with the desired learning outcomes as well as the learning activities. Understandably, in certain cases, teachers who are Confronted with a number of responsibilities, resort to utilizing available materials at hand offered by colleagues and friends, not showing much concern on the appropriateness, relevance, and responsiveness of the instructional materials to the diverse needs of the students. So, in effect, a student's learning remains theoretical and not practical, of course, because if you are going to use um, instructional materials, 
let's uh, make sure, okay? Let's should uh, always take the assurance that those learning materials would cater the needs of our students. Okay, what's the purpose of using different or less of uh, varied instructional materials if it doesn't suffice? Okay, it don't. I mean, it don't suffice. The uh, uh, needed of our students especially that we are in, under pandemic as what i i said a while ago but of course and the uh, positive uh, note uh, there are also teachers who take the challenge of developing the instructional materials themselves so some of them claim that there's no better way to utilize instructional materials than to have them personally designed and developed. Whichever the case may be, the teacher is the legitimate authority, authority I mean, to act on the most appropriate action with this aim in mind. All right, to enhance the student's learning and make the academic engagement meaningful or even more meaningful and uh, engaging. So below are some suggestions that may help you in developing instructional materials, okay, I am for a short cut of instructional materials for language learning. So the first one is know your students well, okay, correction, know your students well. Get acquainted with the individual student's profile, family background, course, health record, and other pertinent data that can help you assess the student's would-be performance in the class. Of course, it is very important for us to know the background of our students, their first personal information, so that we can easily assess what should be the things we need to prepare for them in order for them to learn at the same time. And of course, in doing so, uh, you already have in mind at some point the kind of activities or instructional materials that he or she is needing. The second one, we have to understand the learning outcome or outcome. So this is your uh, anchor in this election or the development of the instructional materials. Ultimately, the expected student's learning outcome of the course is to be proficient in both oral and written communication skills. Therefore, your preparation as well as facilitation of the learning activities should apparently lead to the attainment of these competencies and outcomes. The third one, Think is smart and practical. Okay? All right, how come? So, in the indigenous materials may just be found around the corner, but we have to be carefully selecting and configuring them to serve us instructional materials because not all available resources or the uh, localized materials or even the authentic one could be uh, useful or uh, yeah, I mean useful in integrating or incorporating it or even using it, okay, in our class. The fourth one, adopt or adapt a well-proven, effective instructional materials of the correction for the uh, uh, by over typing. All right, so this is about a number of research based effective instructional materials for language may be appropriately utilized in a certain communicative context. And for the last one, so you have to create contextualized materials. Okay, it could be uh, in printed copies or soft copy or in then print materials. Okay, those would be both indispensable to teaching and learning. Any teacher is given the opportunity to create his or her own instructional materials with due consideration of the context, content, and structure. Okay, so that composed of the... Uh, development of instructional materials. Actually, there are still principles and 
on how are we going to build or create our own learning materials. So maybe in the next discussion, we will be uh, digging okay, in depth, in particular with that topic. All right, so since you have listened already with this, okay, I wish you have learned something today. And for your activity, first activity, okay, so this is the instruction from the inputs, okay, from the uh, lesson that we have just discussed. Take five essential words which strike you the most, and you are going to explain that material for language learning and uh, of course uh, for the integration of uh, what you have learned so this is what you're going to do so you're going to create or develop on informatics that would serve as an instructional materials for language learning you're going to describe also and write a corresponding activity fit for junior high school students applicable to no, uh, new normal setup. All right. So uh, anyway, what is um, what is in informatics? Okay, what is informatics? So this is uh, designs of processing data for storage and retrieval. Okay, so you may just uh, turn in your your test, okay, or your activity in our Google Classroom later. Okay, so I will also be sending you the grade here in our DC. All right, uh, thank you for listening. I hope you learned a lot. So again, this is Mom Earl, and have a good day, everyone.